How do you do? This is my end of the year message. A message that I think has some significance about how I think you should live for the next year. You know, very often I talk about different things I'm offended about that I find somehow perverted or vulgar or disgusting or obnoxious or inconceivably so offensive that it bothers me so much I can't control myself. But now I'd like to talk about something more general, something about principles. Principles are more important than anything else. What do we live for? What do we should be the standard of our existence? How should we feel better about ourselves and make our lives more, more meaningful? How? It shouldn't certainly be by the materialistic drives that permeate our whole society and dominate our thinking and our behavior in this country. Everybody's involved in nothing but material things and you're judged by how many material things you have and who's more successful than who. It all depends on only one thing, who has more money than who and who could show you more possessions than who. And the richer is a man and the more he could prove it, the more respected he is. Does that make sense to you? A philosopher doesn't usually make much money. Should we disregard him? But we disregard him compared to a millionaire. If a guy comes out of a Chevrolet, you say hello. But if he comes out of a Rolls Royce, oh my God, how do you do? All of a sudden, he's, you're awed by his presence. Why? Because someone represents cash. Whoever represents more money. If you think a person is wearing fake jewelry, you say, eh, it's fake jewelry. Like the man is nothing. The woman is nothing. But if you got real jewelry, ooh, you can't control yourself. You can't control yourself. That's why you live by standards that are so baseless and meaningless and weightless and contribute nothing to yourself or society. And that's why people have such false values, because they have to be seen and heard looking and acting like they're rich, like they're rich and riches, wastes money, wastes time, wastes human life, and anything that contributes to the betterment of man is never recognized as of any significance. A teacher is, is a meaningless person to people. A teacher. We would all be nobody if we had no good teachers. But if when you see a guy says, I'm a teacher, say, yeah, so what? But he owns a company and it may make billions. Oh, how do you do? But well, he might be making billions, which might be something weightless. It might be armaments that kill people all over the world. Or it might even be drugs that destroy human life. But look how rich he is. And everybody cares not at all about what does he live for? What the kind of a life is it? Is it criminal money or is it any kind of money? If a guy is rich, that's why we idolize even gangsters and murderers. Like the Sopranos, we don't just watch them, we somehow idolize them. We somehow think of them as some kind of heroes. And nobody walks around condemning them. They can't help watching them and, and idolizing them. When a gangster who's a big, big, top gangster walks into a room, all the supposedly respectable citizens look at him and awed by his presence. And they can't wait to respect him and to invite him every place. But people would say, oh my God, you know that big murderer, the biggest murderer in the world. I know him personally, he's a friend of mine. He just came to my house last Thursday. And you parade around like you can't get over the fact that you're a celebrity because you just met a top murderer. That's how far it goes, where riches and wealth and money is the only thing that counts. Character means nothing to people. Show me the richest man on the block and he's the most respected guy. He could be a dictator, a killer, a degenerate or a murderer. I've shown you thousands of examples, and they're the most respected people in the world. Why is Clinton right now, Bill Clinton, one of the most respected people in America? Does anybody care that he committed perjury, obstruction of justice, that he committed more crimes, sexual harassment, that he would paid fines and, and was condemned in courts of law a dozen times, and the, the only one of or two of the impeached presidents of the history of the United States, which means that he's the man of criminality and a history of criminality. But nobody cares because he was successful at it. Success shouldn't be what counts. What counts should be what is your what is your life about? What are you living for? What good have you done anybody? How have you contributed any good to society or to your fellow man? Think about that. God bless you if you live a better life. By the way, what's more important than anything else, have a happy new year and God bless you.